This project taught me if you end up with ugly, you aren't done yet. <laughs> Hi, welcome to the Shelly Studio. Today I am just working in a sketchbook. Um, if you saw my last video, you saw the cute little flowers I created. And I used these markers to create the stem and spray water um, to get this like sort of wet sort of pattern. Anyway, um, it was prompted by, that technique was prompted by a Barb Owens video. Um, she does lives on Fridays. Um, and so I decided I would do one using her technique just straight. So that was the plan for this one. So I'm taking these markers again. These are Stadler, I believe, markers. Um, they, oh yeah, see, they're Stadler. Stadler? I don't know how you say that. Anyway, they must be water-based or something because they do run with water. Um, if they were alcohol, I don't think they would run um, with water. At least that's what Bob or Bob Barb Owen says. I can't say her name fast, apparently. <laughs> now, she colored hers really nicely, and I'm just adding a little color. I didn't want to use up all the color in my markers. <laughs> I think I... And I am just using... it's. I think it's mixed media paper. It's not watercolor paper. I think she used watercolor paper. I'll have to give that a try. I probably gave it too much water. Because it really just runs all over the place. So I decided to re-outline everything. And I kind of like that. But it just ends up being really kind of ugly, I think. <laughs> in my opinion. Um, so I just keep working at it. And then I end up really liking it. And... Loving the bright colors, like, I don't know, you could just stare at it. I do add a little black in the end, and maybe that muddies it up a little bit, but it was fun. Um, this is a fun technique, if you ever want to try it. Um, just test your markers on a spare piece of paper. Just draw it out, let it dry a little bit. I didn't heat, I didn't use the heat tool, but, and I only let it dry long enough to complete the whole drawing. And then I sprayed it. And you should spray it lightly with water. Give it a try. See um, see if you like the technique. I'm going to have to try it again. Um, on watercolor paper, I think. I think I want to give that a try. But, um, yeah, I did those other flowers. And I just wanted to do more flowers. So this is what I ended up doing. And I'm just re-emphasizing things because I feel like the flowers disappeared and I try and I don't show you I tried with like four different kinds of white pen white paint marker white everything I give up so I decide I would go with black and um, emphasize like the shadow rather than the highlight <laughs> but then I'm like this just looks weird you can see me looking at it going, what am I doing to my poor little flowers? <laughs> so I hope everyone is doing well. Oh yes, and that bleeds too, so why not make the black run? So this is how it looks. Kind of muddy in a few places. So I decide to darken all the petals. But yeah, I hope everybody's doing well. We're doing good here. Um, I think this is coming out in about a week, maybe. So it'll be maybe the first end of the first or second week of August. And. It's been pretty hot here. I don't know about you guys, but it's pretty warm here. Um, it only got up to 95 today. That's practically um, cold. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's been at like 105 and stuff, so it's been pretty hot. So I still don't like it. I like the drips and the runs, but I 
didn't like the black running there. And so I decide I'm just going to paint it all with the blue. And I'm not necessarily wanting to cover all the color. Well, like opaquely. I just want it to mix a little bit. But I don't add any water to it. I don't know. Um... You can see a little bit of the color through it, I think. I'm trying to remember. Yeah, it just darkens the paint a little bit, like when you put it around that pink. But yeah, I couldn't handle what was happening, so I'm painting it all out. Well, not all of it, just the just giving us a blue sky. Just slowly working my way around. This um, sets off my neon phase. <laughs> well, and in uh, July, Art Joy of Sharing was doing neon. And this looked pretty neon to me. And so I start doing, I have some index cards, I start doing a bunch of neon. You'll see those, they'll be coming out too. Got a whole bunch of crazy painting. Well, index cards. And I'm, I'm not worried about perfection at this point I am filming but I'm like if this doesn't turn out it's not it's not getting uploaded <laughs> but if you're watching it it turned out <laughs> or at least well enough that I was willing to share <laughs> I should say Okay, so I, I made the sky level, and now I'm just going to put um, green and yellow for like grasses or plants just in the background, and I'm going to spray it. So here we go. And yeah, I it, just sitting there, it kind of smears and blurs out. So I was using the pink to try and um, emphasize the lines around the flowers. But I decide to just go for black and do the fun scribbly pattern. I really like this pattern, like this technique where you double line it and give it scribbliness. I think it makes all the difference. <laughs> of course, I'm going to add a little white paint here soon and that really helps these flowers, I think. Since I couldn't use a marker, a white marker, to get my highlights, I decided I would just use some white paint. And I think that just increases the brightness and the neon effect.
and those paints do bleed up through the or the pens the ink from the pens bleeds up through the paint so it does dull it back or change the color a little bit as it dries and then I wanted more in my background so I'm just using this leaf pattern stencil I think it's a Dina Wakely stencil I'm just using a mixture of the greens and adding a little of the white to help make it opaque so it will be able to see it when I take the stencil off. And I think that helped the background tremendously. And I think that's about where it ends. And see, it went from really ugly to much improved, right? <laughs> I decided my sky needed some texture to cover up the horrible brush strokes that you can see. And then that is the finish of it. I hope you liked that. If you did, leave me a comment or a thumbs up. I appreciate your comments. I try to reply to all of them. And thank you all for watching. Have an awesome day.